So, I, Tonya, opens in the UK next week. I'm delighted to say I'm with the director, Craig Gillespie, and writer Stephen Rogers. How are you guys? Good. Perfectly. Welcome. Delightful. You must be so thrilled with the reaction. <laughs> the critics are going crazy. And now we've got to wait for the audiences, right? <laughs> yeah, it's, it's been great, especially for a movie that I wrote. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> There's competition already, I can tell. <laughs> it's a fascinating story, isn't it? Because it mixes drama with comedy. It's obviously a real life story, too. Is that quite a challenge for both of you? Uh, it wasn't for me, because I, I mean, I knew what I was doing. I was writing it. But I, I, I liked the fact that it was really funny and really tragic and yeah. really crazy. Uh, I mean, I, I I never felt like I have to be just one thing. And I like that combination. I like funny and sad and weird, you know. I like that too. I like yeah. that as a viewer. Yeah, I, lo- it's like, I feel like, you know, and I love being in that world as well. And it was so on the page with Stephen. But then I, what I also love when you get into that space is it becomes subjective for the audience. Some people are going to find things very funny and other people will be looking around and be like, this is not funny right now. But yeah. there's no right answer. But you know what? That's real life, isn't it? Yeah. Because we have the funny moments, but yeah. you know they're quickly followed by by tragedy. Yeah, always. Oh, life isn't one thing. Exactly. You know, it's, it's, it's and messy. a lot of times we use humor to deal with tragedy. So it's based on the American figure skater uh, Tonya Harding, who is brilliantly played by Margot Robbie, and I believe she it took her four months to train. For the skating role? It, it was actually five. She five should months. have been able to do it in four. But she's slow. <laughs> <laughs> but she got there. <laughs> she got there. You know, it's Olympic level skating. Yeah. So this is something that people, you know, trained for decades to get to that level. And uh, when we first started, I sat down with Sarah Karahara and we went through one of Tanya's routine and I said, so what do you think Margot will be able to do? And I said, like, will she be able to do that? And she's like, no. Will she be able to do that? No. Yeah. Will she be able to do that? What's she going to be able to do? And uh, she ended up being able to do a remarkable amount of all the dance sequences and the high kicks and the spins, which... On ice. On ice, which is is a feat in itself to look that comfortable that, you know, you've been doing it for 20 years. And then, you know, once you get into the big jumps and the power skating, obviously, that was uh, doubles. And it's brilliant to watch as well, because I was looking for the clues as to where the joins were, and uh, there weren't any. It no, was just it's, flawless. Yeah, it's a... There, there aren't any joints. It's yeah. a, it, it was some great effects work by a, a, a effects company, Eight Effects, that I work with, and there's actually sixty head replacements. That's incredible. In, 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 and it was shot so well too. It was shot well, wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> I believe that Alison Janney, who plays the mother, brilliantly, again, uh, brilliant performance. I believe that it was her most challenging role. She was quoted somewhere. She's saying. so close to that in real life, though. She, I feel She like... does walk around with a bird on her shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> she does. No, I wrote the part for Alison. Yeah. Because I've known her for more than half of my usable life. You know, I, I met her when I was 17 years old. So um, you're 36? No. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and... Uh, I've written parts for her before and she's never gotten to play them. And that was a source of great frustration. And on this one, it was a spec script, which meant no one was paying me. And if people wanted it, then I had a little bit of power. Yeah. And so when I went out, people, it, it, there was heat on it. And I said, Alison Janney is attached and I want it in writing or I won't come in to meet you. Um, and I actually said that before Alison read the script <laughs> or said she would do it she's done comedy as well so it's perfect for her. although it was a tough role because i mean there were comedy parts to her character but obviously she you know uh, tonya's you know suffering abuse oh i, I, I think allison is one of those actors like viola davis or yeah. or or kate blanchett who is so emotionally powerful and people don't know that i mean they know it from west wing or they've known it if they've seen her on stage but in movies she always plays parts where she says I'm the head of the CIA. <laughs> and it's like, no, you're actually not. You're actually a genius. So I wanted to write a part that was so polar opposite of her that it would be undeniable how, how good she is. Because I found her character hilarious, but also terrifying. Oh, yeah. yeah. And, and that's it, really difficult to get right, such isn't a it? testament to her that she can pull that off. Because on the page, it's a very tough role. And she's a very tough, unapologetic woman. But that she met, Allison manages to paint, find this empathy and this pain underneath that lets the audience in. Yeah. Yeah, why she's like that. Yeah, why she's you know. atrocious. Can I say congratulations on a superb soundtrack too? Music, very important, I think, for this movie. And I've got to say, as a big Susie and the Banshees fan, to have <laughs> The Passenger as the closing moment was yeah. just superb. It fitted so well too. Yeah, that was... Uh... That was me. <laughs> yeah. you, he he Craig, used to be a member of the band, <laughs> Susie and the Banshees. Yeah. And... No, it was all Craig. Craig, Craig picked the music. There's a lot of slapstick in this movie, which I, I love, because, again, it is, it's a tough subject, but... Um, there's a lot of, you know, the characters talking to the camera. Was that quite difficult to get right? Because 
again, it's 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 a tough story. It, you know, it's a difficult story to tell, but you need that comedy. <laughs> I mean, there, we but... set it up where they're being interviewed. So, I mean, they were talking right to the camera yeah. then. And uh, uh, I think in in the scenes of abuse, it was, it was Craig's idea to have uh, Margot's character break the fourth wall. Because it, when you talk to Tanya about the abuse, she's very sort of distanced from it. And, and uh, to sort of portray that... Craig had her break the fourth wall and talk and, and sort of really distance herself from it. And I think it works because when you talk to Tanya, she's she says, yeah, my mom hit me. She loved me. Yeah. Jeff hit me. He loved me. But there's no, you know, she's so far so away from it. So from it. Yeah. yeah. It's so, so dis disconnected from it. Yeah. Craig, I've got to ask you, um, when you compare your other movies, how, how does it differ to, to the other movies as a director? It's funny. I mean... I this in some ways is probably closest to my heart tonally. It's like to to be able to do this dance between the comedy and the humor and the extremes of that. I mean, outside of that, the other one that would be close to my heart is Lars and the Real Girl. They're sort of in this very tricky place of, of pulling off a, a conceit that's uh, hard to pull off. Yeah, and it's a really timely movie too because we've you know it's a time we've got to support women and there's a lot of strong women in this movie. Very strong, and I think you know I think that's partly why it's been doing so well because. She was such a fighter for for her own individuality and and penalized for it, you know, so so harshly through her career and then you know against all the odds of of her family life and uh, to see her like you know insist on 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 wanting to do it her way is is definitely empowering. Such a strong woman. I I feel like I learned something from watching the movie because I didn't actually know much about the story before. You know, I remember seeing it on the news, but I, I don't I remember something. the details. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think it, yeah, it was so much. It was so much more complicated than we ever were let on with the media. You know, there was something with the media that was interesting. They just they they made it. They they made the narrative, and they decided to make it. You know, a woman against a woman. Even though she's surrounded by all these men at that time that were involved, you know, instrumental in what happened, it was always the Tanya vs. Nancy story. Yeah, yeah. So the Oscars are looming. Are you are you nervous? Are you excited? Do you feel confident? Uh, I I mean, my personality is such that any time I entered the publisher's clearinghouse sweepstakes, I knew I was going to win. <laughs> you know, so That's like, the best way to be. Isn't yeah. it? So he I, still hasn't won. The publisher's. <laughs> Clear I house. haven't, but I still think I'm going to. <laughs> so, of, of course, no, it's very exciting, and and I I love the history of, of of movies and and just to be, sort of, a part of that at all. Yeah, you know, a link in that chain is is enormously flattering and exciting. Well, I wish you both all the best. I think it's going to be an amazing turnout for you because I think it's such a such a great movie. Thank you uh, so much. Thank you very much for bringing it to the screen. <laughs> Thank you. Good to see Thank you. you.